And we're waiting for the faceoff. Now the puck is dropped, controlled by the Cyclones. Back on their defense. It goes to Clemo. Clemo headbands. It goes all the way back in the Messina zone, but not quite far enough for icing. Sitton picks it up, taken heavily into the boards, but coming back for it is Craner, feeding it out to center ice. Picked up again by Clemo. Clemo on the back end, intercepted Darren King. King racing into the Watertown zone, gets by the defense. He's upended, gets back up again, but can't control the puck as Doldo fires it around the board. Sitton stops at the blue line, trying to move it back, but he can't keep it in as it's taken out by Chris Hershey. Hershey into the Messina zone. Craner takes it off his stick. Kevin Craner with the puck now off the boards around the ice, and it's controlled by Mickey Edwards. Edwards with Solvay, two on two. Oh, nice move. Edwards breaking in left side, looking to center, and the goaltender got a piece of it. Clemo goes back to the blue line, kept in by Mike DeRushy. Now the puck dumped to an open wing, and it comes in behind the net, and Watertown now trying to break it out to center ice. Here's Mike DeRushy with it for Messina, headman to Solvay. Solvay shot goes wide. And the puck, Paquin in the corner. Messina making a line change. Goes back to the point. It hits off the referee. Back out to center ice, where it's picked up by Jeff Johnson as the Messina second line out there. Watertown's second line as well. Here comes Johnson, stick handling into the zone. Poke checked away from him by Sean Clemens. The puck goes free in the corner, in behind the net, picked up by Mara. Mara trying to move it around the boards. Bounces out to center ice off a stick, picked up by Chris Parker. Parker now dropping to his defenseman, Adams. Adams ahead to Paquin. Paquin on the backhand just dumps it in the zone. It's picked up there by Mara again. Mara now stick handles out to center ice. Here's Mara breaking down the right wing side across the blue line. Lost it in his skates. The puck just sitting along the puck boards. They try to bounce it to the center, but it's back out to center ice. Jeff Johnson. Johnson on the backhand. Picking it up is Rob Mara. Mara feeds it. Goes off a leg. Uh, this Paquin's leg back in the Watertown zone. Racing back to pick it up there is, uh, let's see here, Morsha, I guess that is. Now moving it out, here comes Watertown again. O'Donnell trying to feed it ahead. He follows up on the play, has it poke checked away. Back to the blue line, dumped in the zone by James. In Messina zone, stopped by Kenny behind the net. Picked up by Darren King. King head man pass to Mark Burke, the winger. Ahead it goes to Chad Valance, breaking in left wing side. Valance has got back to the point, King. King trying to slide it through. O'Donnell gets a piece of it. It's poke checked by Burke, picked up by Fauché. Fauché gets by a check in the corner. Left side of the net. Fauché right front shot. Saved by the goaltender, Clemo. Puck free behind the net. They jam for it. Burke after it there. Can't control. It's picked up by Greg Lefex. Lefex moves it out. Hits O'Donnell, his center man. Here comes O'Donnell right down the middle, trying to drop it off to Chandler. The puck comes free. Darren King picks it up. Around behind the net for Chris Sidden. Here's Sidden breaking out right side now, moving it ahead. Runs into some traffic, dumps it out. Picked up by Clemo. The defenseman loses to Burke. Burke just dumps it as Messina wants a line change. Backboard is James again, starting out for Watertown. Now oh, that's Mara, rather. Mara feeding it ahead for O'Donnell. His pass intercepted by DeRushi. DeRushi slides it through, picks it up again. Here's DeRushi in on the right side, centering pass. And it goes off Seth Sovey's stick into the corner. That was meant for, uh, I believe, well, we'll pick it up in a moment. Now the puck right in front of shot right on. The save made. That was a deflected shot. Here's Craner trying to shovel it right in the slot, bouncing back to the point. DeRushi keeps it in in the corner, dumps it in behind the net for Mickey Edwards. Edwards steps by a check. The puck slides through. O'Donnell comes back for it, feeds it, but Craner stops it there. Here's Craner going after it in the corner, taken out of the play by Jeff Clemo, big defenseman. Now the puck comes back to the point to Rushy, looking to feed it in, but Watertown says enough of this, dumps it down the ice, and that'll be an icing call and move the faceoff back in Watertown zone. Well, we're very happy to have uh, Paul Patterson join us now for the broadcast, Paul. Nice to be here again, Jerry. Uh, we haven't worked together for a while since uh, Ogdensburg, right? That's right. Well, the uh, Reg couldn't make it, so here you are. Uh, I'm second place all the time, but that's all right. <laughs> Tough act to follow, Jerry. Yeah, that's for sure. Jeff Johnson will be taking the faceoff now against uh, Tim Bice. Faceoff left side, Watertown zone off the draw. Puck uh, back on the defense for Watertown. They try to bang it off the boards. Sitton pinches in, gets a piece of it. Now the puck slides to the blue line. Parker can't keep it in. It's out to center ice. Sitton again. Sitton jamming for it along with Fran Bryant back across. Here's Parker's shot. Knocked down on the defense. Parker dropping back to the point. Here's Sidden. Sidden winds. The drive deflected right on by Johnson. The save made. Chris Parker again behind the net, jamming for it along with Mark James. Parker's got it, trying to drop it. It goes to Johnson in the circle. Poke checked away from him back out to center ice. And it's picked up by Chris Sidden. Sidden now. Edmonds to Parker. So far, Messina with a better part of play, no question. Uh, they've had some good opportunities, but as of yet, 
No goals. Now the puck loose. Watertown zone, but it's poke checked out to center ice. Paquin throws a hard check. And the puck comes free to Darren King at his own blue line. Long headman pass. He's got Fauche breaking in left side. Fauche shot right on to save the rebound. Another oh, save right across God. the goal mouth. fauche has got it again, trying to get the backhander off. He's tied up, and Watertown oh. breaks it out of there. Jeff Clemo with it. Clemo, the big defenseman across the blue line, trying to get the shot on. It's knocked down. The puck comes in the corner. Jamming for it there is Burke and Derushi. Derushi skates out of the fray and picks it up. Here's Derushi now. Long left wing pass. He hits his man, Paquin. Paquin breaking out for Messina. He's just going to dump as Messina wants a line change. Puck in the corner now. Back to pick it up is Jay Chandler. Chandler's pass intercepted. The puck free. Now it's picked up again by Chandler. He slides it out to center ice. We have a whistle, and yeah. we're going to have our first penalty of the game. This and game moving right along, Jerry. I think that's only been the second whistle of the, uh, the, of the period so far, and we've played over five minutes. There was a penalty on the play. Mark Burke is going to be called for tripping. So Messina will be uh, trying to kill off the first penalty. Let's see here. O'Donnell coming out with effects. And we'll pick up the other wing when we can uh, see him, when he turns his back. Messina's got Edwards out there along with uh, Medina, Sidden, and King. Mara out there on the point for Watertown. Here's Lefex. You might recall, Lefex had three against Messina last time around. Now Edwards steals the puck. Has it poke checked away. Here's a shot right on, a weak shot by Lefex, and the save made. And Kenny decides to cover up. The other wing is Chris Hershey on this power play. On defense, it's Rob Mara, and I think that's Mark James. <clears throat> Seems to be all Messina so far. Uh, I think it's another game that's just going to be a matter of time as the game wears on. Here's Medina. Can't control the blast by Lefex. The save. Side of the oh. net. Kitty almost lost that one, but he managed to keep it out. Now a shot right front. Score! And Watertown draws oh. first blood on the power play. Bob O'Donnell will get the goal as Jim Kinney gave up a couple of big rebounds right in front. Oh, the defense didn't do much help didn't to clear, clear that it. guy That's out right. of the front either. That's right. And O'Donnell draws first blood for Watertown, a power play goal. That goal coming at 5 minutes and 48 seconds of the first period. O'Donnell will get the goal. We'll wait on the assist if there is one. <clears throat> and that makes it one to nothing for Watertown. Off the faceoff, Craner's line out there. Puck back in the Messina zone, sitting back for it. In behind the net, around to King. Goes by King. In the corner, they jam for it. King gets it back again. Now Craner. Craner can't control right in the slot. Here's a shot, and the puck finally picked up by Messina. Here's Craner. Craner loses it. Back the other way comes Watertown. We'll see if that goal ignites them at all. Doldo picked up the assist on that goal. Now here comes Messina's Edwards across the blue line. Craner, Craner loses it in traffic. It's dumped back up into the Watertown bench, and we'll have a faceoff. 8.35 left to go first period. Watertown on top on a score of one to nothing. O'Donnell got the goal from Doldo, a power play goal, as Mark Burke in the box for tripping. Craner's line out there now. And let's see here. That's Tim Bice's line for the Cyclones. Off the faceoff, puck out center ice. Edwards dumps it right back in. We have a delay off sides, and there's yeah. the whistle as that puck came out and in. And we'll move it back out and face it off again. Tim Bice against Kevin Craner. Face off just outside Messina, or outside Watertown zone. Off the draw, the puck bounces back to Derushi at the red line. He takes a whack at it. Clemo makes the save. Edwards racing for the rebound in the corner. Trying to get by a check, has it taken away by Bryant. Puck along the boards. Adams pinches in, tries to kick it ahead, goes back to the blue line. Craner's there, stops the puck, can't get it out of the zone. It's still in the zone. Seth Solvik tries to come up with it. He can't. Watertown dumps it down the ice, but somebody touched it. So it will not be called icing, and it's Derushi back to feed it out again. 
Here comes Craner, overskated. Sylvie so comes back for it, leaves it for Craner. Here's Craner across the blue line, trying to get through. He and Clemo jam. Craner centering pass. Clemo's got it, though, in front. Back to the blue line. Derushi keeps it in, feeds it for Sylvie. So jumped over his stick. Clemo after it again, and he bangs it back out to center ice. Here comes Watertown, but it comes into the Messina zone, controlled by Messina. Sylvie so for Craner. Craner's blast goes off a leg. The puck. Picked up at the blue line. They jam for it. Nobody's got it. Finally, Greg Lefex picks it up for the Cyclones. Lefex dumps one. Kinney stops it off net, though. And Darren King picks it up in the corner. Around the boards. Lefex trying to control it. Parker takes it away from him. Starts down the right side. Here's Parker. Cross the blue line. Nice move. In the slot. His shot knocked down. Paquin shot on the rebound. The save made by goaltender Matt Clemo. Now Watertown. Back to the point, but not out. Sitton keeps it in. Deflected right in front by Johnson. The puck free. Here's Pink with score! Johnson will get the assist and Sidden another assist. Yep. As Messina ties it up with exactly seven minutes left to play in the first period. That goal coming at the eight minute mark of period number one. Greg Paquin, Johnny on the spot. As Watertown did the exact same thing Messina did, they failed to clear their zone and failed to clear that uh, front of the net. Real good tip by Johnson, I think, to bring that puck, uh, puck over to Paquin so we could slide her right underneath the goalie stick. They gave Parker an assist on that? I don't see how, but... Uh, well, we'll check that later. Johnson will take the face off. Yeah. I saw it a little differently yeah, than that. Yeah, me too. We were in a good <laughs> position up here, though. That's true. Here comes Parker across the blue line, stick handling by Clemo. He stops, trying to center it. Right in front, they jam at it. Johnson gets the shot to save the rebound. Underneath the goaltender as Clemo just covered it. Messina again swarming the net. A they're, good opportunity. They're putting some good pressure on the goalie right now, Jerry. 6.48 left to play. Period number one. Oh, Lefex got an assist on the Watertown goal as opposed to Daldo. Okay. Off the faceoff. DeRushi kicks it, but it goes off a leg out center ice. Slides in the Messina zone. Mike Adams picks it up. Adams ahead. Watertown controlling again. Adams, oh, hard check thrown right at the blue line. Paquin picks up the puck. Head man to Parker. Parker hits the center man. Johnson trying to split the defense. And Johnson has to follow the puck into the corner. Jeff Johnson just fires it around behind the net to Greg Paquin. Paquin stops in the corner. Centering Johnson. Johnson hauled down and the puck comes free. Picked up by Chris Hershey. Hershey racing down the ice. He's got Daldo. Gets oh. by the defenseman. Shoots. And Kenny made the save. And fortunately for Messina, Boy. Hershey did not see Daldo all by himself in the slot. He elected to shoot instead. There again. And uh, he fired it high. There again, our defenseman, instead of taking the man out of the play, was watching the puck. And he walked right around. I think it was Adams out there before he got that shot off. Burke's line back out against the Bice line now. Face off left side Messina zone. 1-1 one -one tie hockey game. Off the face. Puck controlled. Here's Burke. Burke long headman pass for Fauche. Fauche, nice off the boards. In the corner, tries to center, goes off a leg. Burke, follows up, picks it in behind the net. Here's Burke now feeding it around on the other side. Fauche again, left side of the goaltender in the corner, back to Sidden at the point. Sidden gets nailed, and the puck comes free, and racing down the ice to Jay Chandler, taken out of the play. Now following it up is Bice across the blue line, but offside or do, will be the call. Where'd that call come from, Mel? I think Bell Trailing called official it. official call that offsides with uh, the other official right there on the line. I didn't see any whistle on him. Well, Mel's the uh, senior official, oh. probably senior in the world. He's been around so long. but uh, Him and Obi. Him and Obi, yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen Obi yet this I year. I think Obi's retired. Oh, did he retire? Yeah. I think uh, due to popular demand, he retired. <laughs> <laughs> Old Obi. Tell it like it is. I got a nice story about Obi. Next break we got <laughs> All right. In behind the net now, Messina controlling Sitton, feeds it around the board for Chad Valance. Valance starts out, steps by a check nicely, feeds it out to Burke, a little bit too far. Berkey jamming for it, picks it up again, and the puck comes into the Watertown zone right out again. Here's Darren King now for the Raiders. Across the blue line, King's going to lug it. Into the corner it goes. Darren King with it in behind the net. Looking, he's got Fauche right in front. The shot, the rebound, they jam at it, and goaltender Clemo's on top of it again. 
but Messina putting on some good pressure as the whistle blows. No, uh, last year I had to do a game St. Lawrence Central at Alex Bay, and uh, Obi and uh, Greg Walsh were doing the game. I saw him before the game, and uh, Obi said, well, I hope this is a quick one. He says, I got something to do after the game. Four overtimes. Yeah, that's just about the time those things happen right that's there. Right. Four overtimes. Kiss of death when somebody says that. That's right. 5-11 <laughs> left to go here in the first period. 1-1 tie hockey game. Craner's line. Craner wins the faceoff, trying to get the shot off. It's kicked out. Lefex picks uh, it up, brings it to center ice, trying to feed it ahead for Leon Waltz, but Derushi gets there first. Back to Craner. Craner, long headman pass. Too far for Sobe. Sobe racing for it, but the defenseman, Pat Morcia, is going to get there first. Puck in behind the net. Now Jeff Clemo, the other defenseman, feeding along the boards. Derushi keeps it in, dumps it in the corner. Morsha after it there. No, that's Clemo. Clemo trying to drop it out again. Derushi keeps it in, gets a shot off, knocked down in front. Craner shot, the rebound. They jam, and the save is made. As Craner didn't expect to get the puck, didn't get much wood on that it. That wasn't a very hard shot, but still, um, a Messina right there when those rebounds are in front of that net, and one of these times we're going to be putting it across that line. Face off will be Watertown zone to the left side. O'Donnell will take the draw against Craner. Back to the point, right in front. Ooh. And uh, the puck in front, Craner again, the shot knocked down. Back to the point, kept in by Derushi. His drive deflected, goes wide into the corner, and Clemo comes after it. Clemo feeds it to the blue line. O'Donnell gets it out to center ice. Now it's Derushi with it at his own blue line. Headman goes to Craner to Sobe. Sobe across the blue line. He gets a drive right on the save made by Clemo. That was chest high. Got to keep him on the ice. That wasn't going to go anywhere, even if the goalie didn't make that save that would have gone right over top of the, the net. And the faceoff will come to the left side. Watertown zone is Jeff Johnson's line back out. 1-1 one, one tie hockey game. Messina Watertown. Of course, Watertown winless in the league. Messina in second place, game behind Potsdam. Off the face, the puck around the boards, but not out. Now it's bounced out center ice. Darren King from Messina picks it up at his own blue line. Headman hits Johnson. Here comes Johnson back across, trying to poke it through. Men at the blue line back out. Sidden has to wait for his wings, bounces it ahead. They jam for it right at the blue line and tie it up. And we'll have a faceoff. And Mel explaining the game of hockey <laughs> the, the to the finer players. Point stuff. Four minutes left to go in this first period, 1 1 tie. Mel's uh, not afraid to talk out there. No. <laughs> Johnson will, will face it off against Daldo. Off the draw, the puck in the zone. Johnson racing for it. It comes to Paquin in the corner. Steps by a check taken out of the play. Back there is Mark James. Now Johnson takes it from him, trying to center it. Paquin, now James. They jam. Johnson underneath James. They still poke for the puck. Finally comes to Paquin. Goes back to the point. King. King steps by a check. Takes it in the corner. Whistle. We're going to have matching Both minors, up. I think. High sticking for one and... Uh, I'm not sure. Paquin for one, and for Watertown, a slashing? I don't know. It's, Mel had his back to us. I thought he was giving us the slashing. So both high stick? High stick on Watertown, I guess. I think you said both, both high, high stick. Both high stick, okay. And that Watertown player is defenseman Mark James. So Paquin and James mixing it up. And the result, high sticking for both. And four-on-four four hockey here for the next uh, minute and a half, barring any more penalties. Mark Burke out there to face it off. Off the draw. The puck right in front. And the save made by Matt Clemo. I don't know if you could call it a save. It came in on him. And uh, O'Donnell is out there with Lefex for Watertown. Burke and Fauché for Messina. Face off again, left side, back to the point. Derushi trying to slide it through, knocked down by O'Donnell, picked up by Burke in the corner. Here's Burke, shot goes way wide. He and O'Donnell jam. The puck comes to Fauché. Fauché gets railed by Lefex. Now Burke throws a hard check. Puck in the corner, they jam for it, and it comes around to Jeff Clemo. Clemo starts out for Watertown. Gets by Burke. Now Burke poke checks it away, back to the blue line. O'Donnell coming back, pick it up for Watertown. Dropping it for Clemo. Clemo's head man goes off a stick. Finally comes over on the other side for Pat Morsha. Trying to feed it ahead. Lefex dumps it in the Messina zone. And it goes back in behind the red line. Picked up there by Derushi. Derushi now starts out. Steps by a check. Lefex. Derushi head man pass. He's got Fauché. Not quite. Goes by him. And in behind the net. Fauché chasing it down. 
He gets knocked down. The puck comes free, and in there to pick it up for Watertown is Robbie Mara. Mara's long head man goes behind Lefex O'Donnell, follows up. Here's O'Donnell across the blue line, trying to drop it back to Morsh at the point. It's poke checked out. Here comes Craner. Nice Craner play. slides through. He's got a breakaway. Kevin Craner, shot. Beautiful glove save. What a right save. Into his glove. Holy cow. Uh, Craner went to the right side, and the goalie just stuck his glove out, and the puck went right into his glove. What a beauty. Uh, Looked like Craner had that one, and uh, he went over and gave. Uh, Goaltender Matt Clemo a tap on the pad for that he's, save. He's shaking his head, but I don't think uh, Craner could have played, uh, put a better move on him, and the goalie certainly co couldn't come up with any better a save than that. Excellent play. Face off Watertown zone. Still tied at one. 2.25 left. First period. Back to the point. Sitting shot is a little bit wide. Kicked into the corner by the goaltender Matt Clemo. Around the boards. Oh, King just threw a hard check. The puck came back out center ice. Picked up by Sitton. Beating it for Craner again. Kevin Craner across the blue line. Solvey, nice move. Solvey breaking in. Here's Solvey uh, trying to center it in front. Defenseman breaks it up. Good play on the Watertown defense. The Solvey just got in too far, and we'll pick up that player in a moment. Uh, give him a well done. Pat Morsha. Now the puck back to the Watertown blue line. Morsha again. Head man pass intercepted Mickey Edwards as we're back to full strength. Here's Solvey. Getting by the defense. He's knocked down. The puck comes free. Back to the blue line, but not Good out. Save. Kept in there nicely by Sidden, but now it's poked out center ice. Sidden comes up with it, dumps it right Delayed. back in. Delay off sides call. Messina says, well, they could come out, but decided against it. But the puck comes out anyway. Here's Sidden. Headman Johnson crosses the blue line. Johnson goes to Parker. Parker in behind. Centering pass. Oh. Johnson just missed and went into the net. And the faceoff will come in Watertown. Well, I'm not sure where they'll call that faceoff, but that was a pass that had it connected would have been a goal. Yeah, look, uh, one of the defense just carried uh, Johnson right into the net. Faceoff will come in Watertown zone to the right side. We're still tied at one with 123 left to play here in period number one. O'Donnell's line back out there against the Jeff Johnson line. Off the faceoff. Puck picked up by O'Donnell, brings it out to center ice. O'Donnell crosses the blue line. He and Derushi jam in behind the net. O'Donnell still got it, trying to feed the Lefex. Lefex dumps it all the way around the boards. Puck took a funny bounce into the circle, picked up by Paquin. Paquin steps by a check. Here's Paquin racing down the left sideline, trying to build up a head of steam, trying to slide it in front. The puck poke checked away, though, by Jeff Clemo. Back down the ice into Messina territory. Now Lefex and Derushi race for it. Derushi gets there first and steps into it. Feeds it along the boards to Parker. Goes by him out to center ice. We're down to 45 seconds left in the first period. Now Watertown dumps it right back in the Messina zone. Only this time they are going to call icing with 39 seconds left in a fast first period. 1-1 tie hockey game. <clears throat> this period gone by rather fast, Jerry. Rapid first period. Yeah, there's been a lot of good play, a lot of, uh, well, just a lot of open play with no whistles, no offsides, whatever. Watertown's played pretty decent hockey games so far. They've held their own. I'd, I'm interested to see what the shots are on that after the first period, though. I would say Messina's had the better part of play, no yes. question. Uh, some good goaltending by yeah. Matt Clemo, though, has yeah. kept it close. Daldo's line against Burke's line with 39 seconds left, first period. 1 1 tie. Adams and Sidden out to play the point. Still waiting for, uh, there we go, Chapin to drop the puck. Off the faceoff, bouncing back to the blue line. Adams takes a whack at it, jumped over his stick, and is controlled by Jay Chandler. Chandler into the Messina zone, trying to feed it ahead. Goes by a stick into the corner. Now back to the blue line, kept in, shot deflected, oh. right on, off but not pole. in. Right off the It pole. hit the goal post. A beautiful deflection. Here comes Messina back the other way. After it is Fauche. Fauche breaking in. Semi-breakaway. Shot right on the rebound. They jam at it. A save again by Matt Clemo. Back to the blue line. Adam shot. Oh, it hit Balance. Bouncing right in the slot. And right in front is Burke going after it. Now Balance in behind the net. One second left. That's the end, end of, the, of the first period. As Messina Boy. came very close to scoring again, but goaltender Matt Clemo had an excellent first period. And the scoreboard reads one to one, but I'll tell you. Yeah. 
Tell you what, Messina could have very easily won the game at Potsdam, so. Okay, Craner's line out there against the Joe Daldo line as we get ready to start off the faceoff. Back to Sitton it goes. Sitton's head man to Edwards. Edwards crosses the blue line, feeds to Craner, back to Edwards. Nice pass play. They jam it in front, and it goes in behind the net. Now the puck comes back to Darren King at the point. He swipes it in the corner, feeding it to Edwards. Edwards loses it, gets it back again, looking for somebody to pass to. He's still got it, dumping it in the corner. Scott Ed uh, Mickey Edwards with it. Edwards now has it poked away, goes after it, gets it again. Edwards trying to slide it right in front. They jam at it, puck in the circle, back to the blue line, out to center ice. Messina controlled pretty well, but couldn't get the good shot on net. Now the puck dumped to the Ogdens or the uh, Watertown blue line. Craner pokes it in, follows it in the corner. Here's Craner now, moving it back to the blue line. Here's Sidden's shot, goes into the corner. Edwards again behind the net. Trying to center. Craner right in front. Shot. Save the rebound right underneath right. the goalie. Kevin Craner got yeah. robbed again. Well, he, that goalie's uh, in the right spot at the right time so far. He's throwing his hands up in the air like, why me? <laughs> so Messina does everything but score again. And the Jeff Johnson line comes out. And it'll be uh, Tim Bice's line for Watertown. Bice out there with Clemens. This is Sean Clemens and Jay Chandler. Johnson with Paquin, who's got the puck, gets a backhander off. It goes wide. Chris Parker, the other wing for Messina. Puck back to the blue line. Adams keeps it in, kicks it in the corner, but it's back out to center ice. DeRushi with it. Takes it. Chandler trying to forecheck. Goes over to Adams. Adams, long head man right on the stick of Ad, uh, to Johnson. Johnson feeding it ahead for Parker. Parker chasing into the corner, in behind the net. Here's Chris Parker. He gets knocked down, tries to shovel the puck underneath, gets back up, feeds it on the other side for Johnson. Johnson takes a whack at it, missed the puck, gets it back again, kicks it right in front. They jam at it. Clemo gets a handle on it. The puck underneath, and the official lost sight, so he blew it dead. But again, a uh, whole mix-up of players right in front, and it just wouldn't go on the stick of a Messina player. It seems as soon as the puck gets in front of the net, the goalie, Clemo, just falls right down, and somehow the, he gets a hold of it. And there again, we got another face-off with, with quite a bit of pressure uh, from Messina on and, and the Watertown end. O'Donnell's line against the Burke line. Face off left side, off the draw. Lefex trying to feed it ahead to O'Donnell, comes out to center ice. Darren King picks it up. King right back into the zone, Watertown, and they're going to call icing on that, I guess. Yeah, but that was close, though. Yeah. Close, very close. The Watertown defenseman kind of nonchalanted it, and uh, they're going to call it. I don't think uh, Stan was real happy with that call. Uh, I, can, I can hear him through my headset, so he, he had to be yelling pretty loud. <laughs> Holy mackerel, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> O'Donnell will face it off against Burke again. Left side, Messina territory. It goes to King in behind the net. Here's King. Trying to feed it ahead to Burke, kind of fanned on the pass. O'Donnell trying to jam him in the corner. Burke picks it up, gets by a check, slides it ahead to Chad Valance. Here comes Valance, racing down the right side, in on the off wing. Here's Valance trying to drop to Burke. The backhander oh, goes wide. Just a little. Now Paquin with it. Oh, he gets jammed into the corner. The puck slides free, back to the point. Here's Sidden, gets a quick wrist shot off. The save made, the rebound in the circle. Picked up there by Leon Waltz. He feeds it out to center ice. Now it's Sidden with it. And where's the puck? They whistled door, it dead. The door, door opened, opened up. On the, penalty box. the penalty door opened, so they blew that one dead. And both teams will uh, use this uh, brief timeout to make a line change. This place is falling all apart here, Jerry. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I think uh, I, I think Max Schoen forgot to close the door. I think that's what the <laughs> well the last the last player that left the bench forgot to close the door. <laughs> Off the face. Turn off. the lights out too. Yeah. <laughs> the puck controlled into the Messina zone. Now Adams with it for Messina. Long head man pass goes by Craner in the Watertown territory. Mickey Edwards. Edwards trying to step by a check. It's taken off his stick though. And back out to center ice. Mike DeRushi with it. DeRushi's head man goes to Solvay by him. Back out center ice. DeRushi follows again. Through a maze of players, slides it in, but it's picked up by the Cyclones and dumped back out center ice. Now the head man goes to Solvay in on the right side. Centers it. Craner. Craner gets a shot oh. off. Actually, it was a pass, I guess. And Edwards kind of couldn't get the handle on it. Back to the point. Adams keeps it in, but it comes out again. Craner takes it right back across. The drive, the save, the rebound underneath. 
And Clemo puts the big glove on it, and we'll have a face-off. Clemo, pretty good-sized goalie. I didn't realize till uh, he stood up. Uh, he's a good-sized goalie. Last time around, uh, Daryl Williams played, and he's a big goalie, too. Yeah. So uh, they've got some big kids here. Of course, uh, a lot of these guys played football. Yeah. You remember how big they were oh, in yeah. football. Oh, yeah. You might remember Jeff Clemo. He was one of their big guys in football. Off the faceoff, Parker, shot, score! Glove side, left-hand side. Parker about halfway up the post, put it in. And that was not one of your most dangerous no. chances that no. Messina has had, but that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> right off the faceoff, Jeff Johnson uh, kind of semi won the draw. The puck was sitting in the circle as uh, Chris Parker just came in, picked it up, and got the quick wrist shot off and beat Clemo cleanly. He didn't even touch it. And it went in the net, and Messina goes up 2-1. to one. Here comes Messina's Johnson again. Had man to pay when left wing, the drive! He fired it way wide. And it goes up into the crowd. Faceoff will come in Watertown territory, probably at about the... Well, wait a minute. Where is it going to come? As Mel comes over for a new puck, it's going to actually move outside. Messina territory. <clears throat> Messina leading two to one. Parker from Johnson, that's how it's got to read. Off the face off. The puck to the Messina blue line. Siddons back, picks it up. In behind his own net, drops it for King. Dropped under King's stick. The puck comes free behind the net again. Hard check thrown as Parker comes back for it. Trying to get by Lefex. Lefex pokes it away. It comes to Sidden. Sidden over to King. King off the boards. Long headman pass goes by everybody. Intercepted. And it's back to O'Donnell who loses to King. King trying to get through some traffic. They jam at it. The puck comes free to Lefex. Here's Greg Lefex across the Messina blue line. Oh, he gets through the defense. Shot. Fired it wide. It's a good thing it was wide. Good shot. Now here comes the puck back to the blue line. Clemo couldn't keep it in. Uh, in all fairness to him, though, it wasn't even close to him. And Watertown controls at their own blue line. Now the puck stolen away. Johnson. Johnson feeding Parker. Parker gets by a check, but he can't control the puck. Eno Donald jam. The puck comes free. Clemo trying to move it out, taken out of the play. The puck poke checked at the blue line, kept in by DeRushi. DeRushi all by himself as Messina makes a line change. He just fed it into the corner. Now it's the Burke line out as Adams pinches in, steps by a check, takes it in behind the net. He and Lefex jam together. The puck comes to Fauché. Fauché feeds to Burke. Burke in the circle, a shot oh. just wide. And right there was Adams trying for the rebound, but he couldn't get it. Now the puck back out to center ice, controlled by O'Donnell. O'Donnell for Watertown, gets by a check. He falls down. Burke picks up the puck. Headman to Fauché, intercepted right back to the Messina blue line. It slides into the zone and racing for it there is DeRushi. DeRushi trying to get through some traffic as he's taken heavily into the boards by Clemens. The puck controlled. Clemens trying to center it. It comes side of the net. Short side shot. I think it hit the side of the net. We're going to have a penalty, a holding call, and it's going to go against Messina. As Watertown putting a little pressure on, and Messina gets the gate for holding, and again, that's Mark Burke. So Burke goes in for holding. And Watertown goes on the power play. Messina with a 2-1 lead here. 9.38 left second period. Tim Bice, now Watertown's going to change. As they're going to send their uh, top guns out there. Lefex is out there along with Chris Hershey and Bob O'Donnell. At the points, Jeff Clemo for one. And uh, I think that's Rob Mara on the other side. Paquin out there for Messina. King, DeRushi, and Medina. Off the face off. The puck comes right in front. Now it's poke check back to the blue line. Kept in by Clemo. Clemo at the point. Trying to feed to Lefex. Going right through the middle. He can't control it. Has to come back out again. Here's Lefex trying to slide it through. Goes to Adano. Short side shot. The rebound. Oh. In the net. And Kinney made the save. But Jimmy, I don't know rebound. what happened. Well, it looked like Jimmy just let the rebound come right back out again. And the guy got it between his legs again. So it's 2-2 two to two and another power play goal for Watertown. Okay, O'Donnell gets the goal from Chris Hershey. So O'Donnell picks up his second goal of the game. And we're all tied at two. Craner line out there now against the Daldo line. Off the faceoff, it comes to King. King banging it off the boards. Intercepted. 
Back to the blue line. Here comes Watertown across the blue line with an opportunity and a backhand shot taken. That goes wide. Puck bounces back to the blue line. That was Rob Mera. Kept in at the point, but now it's out. Craner. Here comes Kevin Craner. Stepping by, headmans it to Edwards. Edwards racing in the corner, trying to feed short side shot. The save made. Puck in behind the net. Here's Craner by a check, dropping it back to the point. Here's King winds. The blast fired it wide. Around the boards for Peter Vince, who's playing the point, looking to feed it in the corner for Mickey Edwards. Edwards now slides by a check all by himself in front. Short side shot. Uh, Another save uh, by Clemo. The puck comes free, goes back to the point. King winds the shot. Save made. The rebound in the net. Rebound. Good play. Seth Sovey, I believe. Yeah. As Clemo finally gave up a rebound. Boy. And Sovey was there to jam it in. And Messina goes on top again, 3-2. to two. And I guess that's a case where you can stop City Hall for a while, but eventually he's going to catch up with you. Well, he's, there's been quite a few chances and a lot of rebounds in front of that net. And like you said, the odds are going to be with Messina sooner or later. And that was wide open. Uh, we either. got a penalty, too, after the goal on Watertown. And I'm not sure what exactly is going on, but uh, we'll wait on it. There was a penalty on the on the goal while the goal was being made. So there's a penalty on the goal as the well, goal is yeah, being as the goal is Rob being. Mara gets the gate, and uh, so he has to serve his time. But the of uh, course uh, Watertown will not be shorthanded. Icing will be called on Watertown right off the faceoff as they dropped it to the defense and fired into the Messina territory. So uh, penalty on Mara, but uh, that will not be served. It was a holding call, I believe. Was it holding? Yeah. But uh, so actually what it was was a delayed penalty, yeah. but Messina scored. Yeah. So uh, he'll have to serve his time out. But uh, had to have been right during that mix up in sure, front of the net. Sure. Off the face off. Here's Johnson with it. Johnson in the slot. His shot to save the rebound. Oh, hit the side of the net by Paquin. Now Paquin feeds it into the corner. Chris Parker after it. O'Donnell gets there first, though, and dumps it down the ice again. And it's going to be another icing call against Watertown. Mm -hmm. Craner getting the assist on Sobey's goal. Messina's third goal. The Raiders lead it 3 to 2 with 8.16 left to go in the second period. Sanford T. Cook just found my between periods guest. <laughs> well, they'll let anybody in here, won't they? You have some good news for me. We might even talk about last night's basketball game. Okay, well, off the faceoff, Buck in the zone, Chris Parker. Trying to get by the official, and Watertown picks it up out to center ice. Here comes O'Donnell. O'Donnell feeds it. Kenny leaves it in the corner, in behind the net now. They jam for it. Puck in the corner, and it comes to Paquin. Paquin drops it behind the net for King. King for Messina. Around the boards. Paquin stops, starts out. Here comes Greg Paquin, center ice, taken away from him by O'Donnell. O'Donnell in his own end now, circling, intercepted by King on the pass. Here's King, just dumps it, and it goes in behind the Watertown net. Paquin racing for it. He and Clemo jam. Now, Paquin's a big kid, but Clemo's a lot yeah. bigger. The puck comes free. Here's Paquin getting it inside behind the net. Here's Paquin now circling, trying to center right in front. Clemo intercepts. They jam at it. Comes back to Vince at the point. His shot knocked down. Parker steps by a check, and Lefex gets a stick on it. Goes into the corner. Now he and Parker go after it. Puck comes free back to the blue line. King keeps it in. Backhander goes wide into the corner now. Finally, Watertown says enough of that. It's dumped down the ice. And again, icing on the Cyclones as they want a line change as that O'Donnell line's been out there for about a year and a half. We're down to 7.08 left to play first or second period. Messina leading 3-2 on 1340. WMSA Messina. Okay, we've got Burke's line coming out now for the Raiders. And uh, I think that's the Bice line. Everybody's a critic, huh? Nice guy. Oh. Off the faceoff, here's, no, nope, it didn't come to Adams. It came to Valance. Valance in on the off, getting the backhander. Fired it just wide, and I mean just. Berkey picks it up in behind the net. Circles, trying to drop it. Derushi on the fly, knocked down, keeps nice it in. Play. Nice play Good by Derushi. Puck in behind the net. Fauché racing for it, trying to come up with it. 
Fauche jams along with Mark James. The puck free in front. Balance backhander. The save. The rebound knocked down in front. The puck in the slot. They jam for it. Balance can't get a handle on it. And the puck dumped by Watertown. It goes all the way down the ice. And icing again will be the call on the Cyclones. And they seem to be running out of steam all of a sudden as they've been uh, called for icing about three times in a row. We've seen it trying anything to put that puck in the net. Berkey was going to pick it up and, and throw it in if he had to down there. <laughs> tell you what, when you run into a hot goaltender, sometimes you have hey, to do that. You got that right. And I'll tell you what, Clemen, Clemo rather, has been a good goaltender to this afternoon. He's done an outstanding job with, with all the shots and, and rebounds that uh, Messina's put on him so far. Okay, we've got Daldo's line against the Craner line now. Off the faceoff, Craner trying to get the shot off. Knocked down, back to the point, King. Blast goes wide. Puck in behind the net. Jamming for it. Side of the net. It's underneath Clemo, now picked up by Solve. Solve centers it across the slot. Craner back to King. King into the corner, gets a shot off, fired it wide. Comes back to Vince. His shot right on the save. The rebound, Solvi right in front, they jam for it, and finally it's picked up by Chris Hershey, and Hershey lugs it out and feeds it into the Messina zone. Back there is Peter Bentz. Bentz gets by a check, feeds it ahead, intercepted. Here again is Daldo trying to go across the goal mouth, nobody there, and Mickey Edwards. Edwards now down the left side. Edwards into the zone, racing in, takes it in behind the net, centering pass, goes off a leg into the corner. Now Watertown trying to come back. As they look to pick it up, that's Fran Bryant. He and Edwards jam in the corner and tie it up. And we'll have a face-off with uh, 543 left to go in the second period. And it's a 3-2 to two score for Messina. Yes, Paul. Okay, 3-2, huh. to two, the Berg after two. Face-off will come Watertown zone right side. It's Jeff Johnson's line out there now against the O'Donnell line. Off the face. The puck sitting in the circle, controlled. Here comes O'Donnell. He just dumps it in Messina territory. And that should be an icing again Another on one. Watertown. <clears throat> this O'Donnell line is definitely uh, Watertown's top line, although they did not start the game. I think uh, the Doldo line is a checking line. They put them out against Craner and crew. Put the goons out there to, to try to take care of him, and hopefully O'Donnell's line will put the puck in the net. That'll be O'Donnell against Johnson. Left side, Watertown territory. Off the face. The puck in the circle. Back to the point. Shot right on. Glove by Clemo. We'll do it again. To rush you with a quick shot. And the save by Clemo, who has been good in the Watertown net. Will face again off the face-off. Shot again, a weak shot. Right off the face-off, sticked into the corner. Now the puck comes to Paquin. Paquin and Johnson both jamming for it. Taken away and out to center ice. Here comes Watertown's Lafex. Lafex across the blue line. In on Sidden. He has to stop. Goes back to the blue line. Here's a shot from the point. Way wide by Rob Mara. And the puck goes all the way around the boards back out to center ice. They dump it back in. We've got a delay off size waved off as the puck comes out. Here's Sidden racing across the blue line. Sidden goes, cuts across the green shot right on. Nice save. And uh, I'll tell you, Sidden had the goalie going the wrong way. Unfortunately, he fired it right in him. Here's Sidden again, the blast. Knocked down. The puck goes in the corner. Lafex after it. Feeds it around the boards. And it comes to Leon Waltz, who dumps it down in the Messina territory. They wave off the icing this time. And Paquin comes back for it. Chris Sidden thought he was a forward and almost got the goal. Now Messina clears it to center ice, controlled by the Cyclones. Stolen away, here's Parker. Parker takes it across on the off wing. Parker coming into the corner, in behind the net, looking, looking for somebody to pass to. Goes back to Adams at the point. Adams trying to feed it through. It goes in the circle, back to the blue line. Adams gets a stick on it. He still got it, but it's poke checked out to center ice and picked up by Jay Chandler. Chandler at the blue line just swipes it in the Messina zone. It's back outside once again, picked up by Bryant. Bryant loses. Here's Burke. Burke takes it across the blue line. Drop pass for balance. Back to Burke. Burke in behind the net. Circles has it poke checked away on the defense by Scott Bryant. Now it's Fauche with it. Fauche loses it. Back to the blue line it goes. King keeps it in. His drive. Save the rebound. Oh, Burke couldn't find the handle. Back to King again at the point. He kicks it free. The puck now tied up along the boards. We have a whistle, and uh, Chapin lost sight of the puck, so he blew it dead. And we are down to 3.49 left in the second period. 
Messina is still holding on to a 3-2 to two lead. And we've got Craner's line back out there against the Tim Bice line. Oh, they're going to make a change as the Daldo line comes back out to face off against the Craner line. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's right. You can do that. You run this place. Yeah. <laughs> they still expect coffee when I'm up here, too. <laughs> Where is it, by the way? Yeah. In the concession stand. <laughs> okay. Craner will face off against Daldo. Left side. In the Watertown zone. Off the draw. Puck about halfway out, and Daldo picks it up and lugs it ahead. Daldo and Craner jam. Craner feeds it ahead. Intercepted by the big defenseman Clemo into the Messina zone. Picked up again by Derushi. Derushi to Craner. Craner drops it back for Sidney as Messina starts to regroup. Ahead to Edwards. Mickey Edwards with it, feeding it. It's intercepted. Dumped back to the Messina blue line. Edwards after it. And Derushi throws a check, and the puck slides in the Messina zone in behind the net. There's Sidney. Sidney taken out of the play. The puck free in the corner. Picked up there by Derushi. Derushi can't control. The puck's still free. Coming back for it is Sove. Sove throws a check and headmans it all the way out to center ice. Slides back to the blue line. Picked up by Clemo. Clemo loses. Here's Craner waiting for the wings. Fakes the shot. Goes through some traffic. Sove trying to follow up. The puck underneath him. He gets up. Couldn't find it. Watertown's going to ice the puck again. And the faceoff will come back in the Watertown zone. 2.51 left to play here. Second period. Messina still on top, 3-2. to two. Messina's starting to get a little sloppy out there, Jerry, with, with blind passes, and uh, they just can't control the puck like they had been, uh, the, you know, the first half of the game. <laughs> El Johnson's line comes back out now against the O'Donnell line. Face off left side, off the draw, the puck in the circle. Now goes in behind the net. Johnson makes a good move, picks up the puck. Here's Johnson looking for Paquin right in front. He can't get the stick on it. And back the other way comes Lefex for Watertown. Lefex looking for O'Donnell. He's going to take the shot himself. The save made by Kinney. It goes in behind him as Kinney kind of dropped it. The puck comes free. Right in front, short side shot. Hits the side of the net. Now the puck back to Paquin, who throws a check. Lefex trying to come up with it. Poke check comes to Vince. Vince swipes it in behind the net for Darren King. Lefex gets to the puck first. He and King jam. Johnson picks it up, headmans it to Paquin, but not out of there. Messina, as you mentioned, getting a little sloppy here. Now Vince around the boards for Parker. Parker picks up the puck. He carries it out to center ice, gets by a check, starts down. Here comes Parker across the blue line. Johnson, Johnson upended. O'Donnell picks it up, goes back the other way. Here comes O'Donnell in on the left wing. He can't get by the check as he's taken out of the play by Sidden. Vince picks it up, fires around the boards for Paquin. Paquin now lugs it. He's taken out of the play. The puck comes free, back in the Messina territory, and racing back for it is Adams. Adams bounces it over to Sidden. Sidden swipes it back for Adams behind the net. He comes back instead himself and picks it up. Headmans it, back out to center ice. Picked up there by Morsha. Back to the Messina blue line, right back out again, down the ice. That's going to be an icing call yeah. on Messina. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Messina the last three minutes. They haven't uh, really played their kind of hockey. It seems like they're trying to hit their far wing, who who I guess they feel is uh, heading down the other way, but uh, the passes seem to be way in front of the of the wing on the opposite side of the ice, and they're, they're starting to get a little bit sloppy out there. <laughs> Burke's line out there now against the Bice line. Coming out will be DeRushi and King. Watertown wanted to make another change, but Mel says no, for his home team has the last change. Burke takes the face off. It comes to King in behind the net. King stops, bangs it around the boards for Chad Valance. Valance leads it, goes through, intercepted back to the Messina blue line, back in the zone. Here's DeRushi. DeRushi, long headman pass, goes by everybody. Back in a Watertown territory. Scott Bryant back for it, trying to feed it out to the blue line. It comes out to center ice, DeRushi. Has to wait for his wings, drops it to King. Here's King, feeding it ahead. Here's Burke in the zone. Burke feeding it. Good Here's play. Valance right in front. Can't get the shot off as he waited too long. Now the puck in the corner, looking to tie it up. A hard check thrown by Fauché. We're going to have a penalty. 
A little pushing and shoving going on in there now. And we're going to have two penalties, as a matter of fact. Valance. Valance for Messina. And I don't know who that is for Watertown. We'll pick them up in a moment. Roughing for both. Seven. Okay, Doldo. that's Joe Daldo. So Daldo goes off for roughing for Watertown and uh, Valance for Messina. Little mix up in the corner behind the net. Four on four hockey now with 47 seconds left in the period. The scoreboard reads three to two for Messina. I'm trying to remember. Kinney hasn't had too many saves this period no, either. No, he hasn't. Okay, we've got Edwards out there along with Medina. And Derushi, he's got the puck, slides it, goes off a leg into the corner. Now Marty Medina with it, trying to drop it back to King at the point. It's intercepted. Here comes Watertown as they move it out. It's Fran Bryant. Gets by a check, but he's knocked down. The puck comes free. Messina back the other way. Here comes Marty Medina. Medina across the blue line now. He stops, waiting. Has it poke checked away there by Chris Hershey. Hershey picks it up for the Cyclones. 20 seconds left. Hershey still in his own end. Try stolen right front. Edwards. Edwards to Medina. Gets a shot. A weak one on. And the save made by goaltender Matt Clemo. Good hustle by Marty Medina. He uh, intercepted that puck, uh, gave it up, and uh, almost put it in the net. 15 seconds left, period number two. Messina leading three to two here. Now Kevin Craner comes out with Seth Solve. Derushi and King stay out there. O'Donnell coming out, takes face off for Watertown. <coughs> O'Donnell and Lafex will be out there. Face off right side, Watertown zone. Off the draw, it comes to Derushi. Couldn't get the shot off. Backhands it right in front. Craner, his shot is wide. Into the corner it goes with eight seconds left. Solveig trying to come up with it. Pokes it around the boards with five, four. King's going to have to get a quick shot off. He does, but it's way wide as the buzzer sounds. And the period ends. The second period ends with Messina leading 3-2 to two after a 1-1 tie. Watertown came up with one in the second period, Messina with two to lead 3-2. to two. Our broadcast this afternoon brought to you by Reynolds Metal, St. Lawrence Reduction Plant, where their quality shines through. By the A-plus mini market downtown Messina for low Atlantic gas prices. North Country Savings Bank, 22 Phillips Street. Me Edwards, Sidden, and King for Messina, and it's going to be Clemo and Bryant. Nope, check that, Clemo and Morsha. For Watertown. Jimmy Kenny defending the goal to our left, and on the other side, it's going to be uh, Matt Clemo, who's had a great game so far. Edwards takes it across, dumps it over on the other side. Darren King, he winds his drive, went by the net. Now Sidden pops it into the corner. After it, there is Edwards. He has it taken away by Jeff Clemo. Puck comes around the boards, but not out. Pinching in, Darren King kept it in. Now it's Clemo. Feeding it around the boards, goes for Lafex. Lafex pops it past everybody, goes down in the Messina zone, and Kinney's going to steer it in the corner. O'Donnell picks it up there, lost it, and around the boards it goes for King. Both penalties are up. We're back to five-on-five five hockey here. Now Edwards gets the head man, starts out, feeds it for Valance. Messina making a change here, dumping it ahead. Valance takes it across for Craner. Here's Craner into the corner, taken away from him by Clemo. And back the other way comes Watertown. Headman goes to Lafex. Lafex across the blue line, gets by Derushi. Here's Lafex, can't get the shot off, centers it right in front. And uh, nobody could really get a handle on that one. And Kinney leaves it in the corner. Now it's poke check back out to center ice. Picked up there by Morsha. Feeding it ahead for Lafex. Lafex crosses the blue line, can't control the puck. Comes back to the blue line, but it's kept in there. Greg Paquin picking it up. Lafex has been out there since the start of the period. He's got to be a little tired, but Messina is going to be called. No, they wave off the icing as the puck comes around the boards. Darren King keeps it in at the point. Oh, that's Adams, rather. He's hauled down. The puck comes free out to center ice to Paquin. Paquin, long head man of Parker at the blue line. Parker for Johnson. Johnson pokes it into the corner, chases it down. He jams for it there along with Chris Hershey. Hershey comes away, but Paquin takes it away from him, dumps it in behind the net again. Now it's Mara after it. Mara trying to get by Paquin, loses it to the blue line, gets it back again, kicks it out to center ice where Derushi picks it up at the blue line. Here's Derushi stepping by a check, another check. He crosses. Derushi, drop pass, goes to Parker. Parker feeds in the corner for Derushi again. It gets away from him. Joe Daldo taken out of the play by Valance. Centering Johnson, shot, save 
Johnson trying to come up with a rebound. It's poked back to the blue line. Slides out to center ice. Chris Sidden again. Feeds to Rushy. His drive and the save made by Matt Clemo. And he holds on, and the faceoff will come in Watertown zone with 12.33 left to play third period. Messina on top, 3-2. to two. There again, I thought the goalie would uh, would have let the play go. There seemed to be about three, three, four Watertown players, no Messina players around, but he elected to, to hold on to it and call for a faceoff to the left of the goalie. Burke's line out there now to face it off against the Bice line. Off the faceoff, it comes to Fauche, his shot right on, the rebound into the corner. Now Burke trying to center it, goes to balance in behind the net, trying to get by some traffic, the puck comes to the side of the net, Clemo, the goaltender, sticks it into the corner, ahead it goes for Bice. Bice has it taken away just outside at center ice, back the other way is Chad Valance. Across the blue line, trying to drop it to Burke in traffic, Burke takes a whack at it, puck still at the circle, bounces back to the blue line out to center ice. Darren King has to come back for it. King drops it over to Sidden. Sidden hits Fauché on the wing. Fauché fed, fed it for Burke, but too far. Comes in behind the net. Bryant. Bryant around the boards. Burke steps in, intercepts it. Gets by a check. Bryant pokes it. Back to the blue line. King keeps it in. Takes a whack at it. They jam at it. And the puck slides out to center ice. Dump back in. We got a delay off sides. No, I guess not. The puck comes to balance. Balance fakes a shot. Oh, nice move. Centers it right in front. Oh. Deflected right on. The rebound comes to Craner, the backhander. Right on again. Another save by Clemo. And he's going to dive out and cover it up. And the whistle blows. He left the puck and Craner had it, but they blew the whistle anyway. A little late on the referee. He, that goalie had that co uh, putt covered up and uh, he didn't blow it. And Craner knocked it loose. So the faceoff will come in Watertown territory. Goalie not too happy, I think, uh, with the uh, referee not blowing that whistle when he now had how, that puck covered up. He's how far can he come out and do that? Well, he was out of ways. There's an imaginary, I think it's like a semicircle, but it's hard to say where exactly yeah. that is. Goes back to Dureshi off the faceoff, right on the save, and it goes into the corner. Set Solvay with it, having trouble handling it. Back to the point, it goes. Kept in at the point. Now it's poke checked out to center ice. Here comes Watertown's O'Donnell. Sharp angle shot. The save made by Kinney. Not sure if that was on, but he got a glove on it anyway. Headman comes to Solve. Solve feeding for Edwards. In on the left side. To Craner. In the slot. His shot hits the goal post. The rebound. Clemo tries to jump on it. And he falls down. The puck comes back to Adams. His shot deflected high over the net. I can't believe that didn't go in. The puck comes to Craner. And it's tied up in the back of the mesh. And I'll tell you what, Matt Clemo's leading a charmed life right now. He looks like he's hurt a little bit, too. He's kneeling down on the ice. Uh, I don't know whether it's his left arm. But I'll tell you what, it seems no matter where he's at, whether he's 10 feet out of the goal or not, the puck seems to hit him and uh, deflect away from the net. <laughs> I'll tell you. He's having one of those days, I guess. Yeah. Johnson out there to take the face off now. And I think we're going to see the Daldo line for Watertown. Off the face. Puck in behind the net to Jeff Clemo. Clemo around the boards. Hard check thrown, but the puck comes out to center ice. Here comes Daldo. Stepping by the defense. Daldo slides it through. Here's a sharp angle shot. Goes to the side of the net by Hershey. Puck comes free. Here comes Johnson breaking out. Head man hits Parker on the right wing. Chris Parker getting by the check, going by Clemo into the corner. Centering pass. Nobody there for Messina. Comes back to the point. Darren King pinches in. In the corner. Gets by a check. He's still got it. Now he falls down. Gets back up again. Taken out of the play. The puck back to the point. Kept in by Sidden. Sidden shot. Knocked down in front by Clemo. Clemo dumps it to an open wing out to center ice. And Chris Sidden picks it up. Feeds it ahead for Paquin. Paquin gets by the check. Feeds it for Johnson. Johnson across the blue line trying to slide to Parker. Goes by him. Comes back out to center ice. And Adams coming for it. Dumps it back in the zone. In the corner. They jam back out to center ice. Back in again. The puck at the blue line. DeRushi has to wait for his wings. He falls down. The puck comes free to Fauche. Fauche, head man. Nobody there. That'll be an icing on the... No, they wave it off. Now the puck back is Pat Morsha to pick it up. Feeds it around the boards to an open wing. And it's Jeff Chandler. Chandler can't get it out of the zone. Fauche keeps it in. Here's Fauche trying to slide it through. Clemo intercepts. Puck in the slot. Burks backhander. Save made. And again, well, I don't know how Clemo stopped that. He's, he's so unorthodox out there. I mean, he, he doesn't. 
All his moves just don't look like a goalie, but he's still doing the number one job of keeping that puck out of the net. <laughs> Tell you what, he's going to end up with a lot of saves. Oh. Well, he had coming into this period 28 <laughs> through two. It's a lot of rubber. Yes, it is. Trainer's line back out there against the O'Donnell line. Off the faceoff, Trainer in the circle, can't get the shot off. Edwards follows up. He and O'Donnell jam. The puck comes free behind the net. Around the boards it goes. O'Donnell lugs it. He starts out. Sweep check by Craner. Good steals play. the puck. Here comes Craner. The big drive. The save by Clemo. And it's picked up again by Craner. Scored Beautiful. Edwards. Beautiful pass by Kevin Craner to Mickey Edwards right in the slot. And it's in the net. And Messina takes a 4-2 to two lead on a beautiful goal. And I'll tell you what, Kevin Craner did a whale of a job, first of all, keeping the puck in the That's zone, right. taking it in quit. behind the net, and feeding it right across the slot to Mickey Edwards, who is all by himself for the score. Messina goes up 4-2. to two. That's a big goal right there. He took that slap shot, and uh, there again, Clemo let the rebound go off to the side. Craner picked it up and dug for it, and uh, there Edwards was right out in front of the net. Okay. Daldo's line stays out against the Craner line. 4-2, Messina leading. Off the faceoff, puck back to the Messina blue line. Derushi circles in behind his own net. Steps by a check, starts back the other way and leaves it. Here's Craner. Craner starts to lug. Headman right on the stick of Edwards. Edwards splits the defense, but he gets knocked down. The puck comes free. Sobey tries to follow up. Craner does. Here's Craner now in the corner, right in front. Sobey deflects. Puck comes back to Derushi at the point. He takes a whack at it. The save made. The rebound comes back to the blue line, and it's out to center ice. Into the zone it goes. Fran Bryant now taken out of the play by Adams. Puck comes to Derushi. Derushi's head man goes by everybody. That'll be an icing on Messina. He meant that for Craner, but Kevin no. didn't see it. No. And the faceoff will come back into Messina territory with 8.33 left to play here in the third period. Messina on top, 4-2. to two. O'Donnell's line right back out there again against the Jeff Johnson line. O'Donnell affects and Walt face off Messina's zone. Off the draw, the puck back to the point, the shot, Kenny gloves it, holds on. Has O'Donnell right on the doorstep. Of course, Bobby's got the two Watertown goals. Yeah. And he was looking for number three right there. He knows how to get in front of that net in that slot where he's living. most of the time that puck comes out, gets a stick in any part of it. Johnson again against O'Donnell. O'Donnell, this time the faceoff controlled. O'Donnell gets the shot, the save made, and Siddons got the rebound. Feeds it ahead for Parker. Parker takes it out of the zone. Headman pass right on Johnson's stick. He streaks by the defense, and he is hooked. The puck comes <laughs> free right in front, back to the point. Here's King's blast. Deflected wide. Back to Sidden at the other point. Sidden winds up. His drive deflected right on. Johnson trying to center it. It comes free to, to Messina's uh, Greg Paquin. We have a whistle and a holding call. And it's going to go Sidden. against Sidden of Messina. Huh. We might mention that Watertown's two goals have been on the power play. In fact, I think they're two for two on the power play. So Messina will have to try to kill this one off. Let's see who Stan Moore is going to send out. Derushi is out there along with King, and up front it's going to be Burke and Medina. O'Donnell, of course, stays right out there with Watertown. Off the faceoff, back in the Watertown zone. Morsha with it there. Trying to head man to Lefex. Lefex loses it to Burke. Burke just dumps it back in the Watertown territory. Again, it's Morsha, or Mara, rather. Feeding it ahead for O'Donnell. He fell down. Lefex follows up. Here's Lefex setting up the Watertown power play. Lefex with it. Drops it back to the point. Kept in by Clemo. Clemo feeds to Lefex. Lefex steps by a check. Puck poke check right in front. Lefex all by himself. Back hitter. Kenny makes the save. The rebound oh. right in front. They shot. It's down underneath. Where is it? It's underneath, uh, I believe, Messina goaltender. His Watertown came very, That's very close good. to scoring. Messina still leads 4-2, 7-29, about halfway through period number three. Watertown on the power play. Messina will change their penalty kill. There's 57 seconds left 
in the penalty. Let's see, Jeff Johnson and Mickey Edwards coming out. King and Adams will be out there. O'Donnell off the face. Puck comes in behind the net. King takes a whack at it, goes along the puck board, kept in by Lefex. Lefex loses to Edwards. He lifts it back to the blue line, and it goes underneath Clemo's stick back out to center ice. It's Morsha with it now. Head man pass intercepted. Here's Adams across the blue line. He winds his shot. The save. The rebound right in front. Picked up by Clemo. Clemo's head man goes by everybody. Picked up by Mickey Edwards. Edwards wasting time and dumps it down the ice again. In behind the net. Whoa! Matt Clemo lost that one for a second. But he's got it back again. Feeds it ahead. It goes to King at the point. His drive. And a kick save made by Clemo. Puck around the boards. Johnson with it. Takes it out to center ice. Drops it back to King at the defense. 13 seconds as King finds it, fires it down the ice. Again. Here's Clemo with seven seconds left. <laughs> hey, poke checked away by Johnson. Puck picked up by Mara. Moves it ahead to Lefex. Lefex takes it across the blue line. Here's Lefex on to Rushy. He loses to Sidden. Sidden to O'Donnell. And the puck around the boards as O'Donnell took the shot and went wide. Back to the point. Here's another shot. Kinney, the rebound, oh. hits the side of the net. Good chance for Watertown again, but Sidden's got it, and he headmans it out to center ice. Here comes Trainer, one on two. Trainer turning on the Jets, fakes the shot, takes it in behind the net. Here's Trainer. Trainer moves it around again, looking right in front, and he saw Fauché, but couldn't quite get it to him. Ice and it. now Watertown ices the puck, and we'll have a faceoff back in Watertown territory. But Watertown, they've got a good power play. Well, they, they certainly put the pressure on Messina anytime they go a man up. And uh, there again, it was they were almost three for three for the for the power play. But uh, luckily, Messina was able to, to get that minute and a half out of there. And now they're back to even. Faceoff will come in the Watertown zone. The Burke line out there, Burke Balance and Fauché. And it's going to be, uh, I think that's Daldo's line out there for Watertown. Off the faceoff. Comes, puck comes in behind the net. Burke racing for it. He's got it. Feeds it around the board for Valance. Valance back to the point. Peter Vince, the blast. Knocked down in front. Nope. The goalie's got it. Boche right on top of Clemo, but the shot came right chest high, and Clemo held on, and we'll draw again. Vince and Sidden out there playing the points. Of course, uh, with Aubertine out for the game, uh, the defense has been mixed up a little bit. Of course, Bruce Aubertine's probably been Messina's steadiest defenseman Bruce, this year. Bruce has uh, seemed to improve every every game all year long, and he's really helped out a lot. Mark James with a puck now around the boards. It goes. Fauché steps in front of it. He's taken out of the play. The puck comes free back to center ice, and it's picked up by the Cyclones, but they can't control, and Peter Bentz has it in his own end. Bentz now trying to follow it out of there. Taken out of the play, but it's out to center ice. Tad Valance with it. Valance steps by a check. Headman's it. Fauché. Jeff Fauché back to Valance. Valance trying to get by the defense. He's taken out of the play, but gets it to Fauché somehow. Now Fauché steps by a check. The balance in front. He's tied up. Couldn't get the shot off. Watertown's going to ice the puck again Another all one. the way down the ice. And the whistle blows. And we've got an icing call. And with 5-10, faceoff will move back in Watertown zone once more. I'd like to know how many icings uh, Watertown's had today. There have been a lot. Today, there yeah. has been a lot. O'Donnell, of course, is back out there again. You're going to see him and Lefex out there a lot for the rest of this hockey game. 4-2, to two, Messina leads. 5-10 left to play. Kevin Craner's line back out from Messina. Craner will face off against O'Donnell. <coughs> face off right side, Watertown territory. Off the face off. Puck in the circle. They jam for it. Craner dumps it in behind the net. Seth Sove racing for it. Sove taken to the boards by Clemo. Mickey Edwards picks it up. Centering pass. Craner can't come up with it. And the puck controls by Watertown. Here comes O'Donnell across the blue line. Sweep check takes it away. And it's back out to center ice. Here comes Mickey Edwards. Feeding ahead for Craner. Perfect pass. Craner breaking in right wing side. Backhander right on. Clemo makes the save again. With 4.45 left to go in the third period. Beautiful pass by Mickey Edwards, right on the stick of Kevin Craner, streaking down the left wing side. Tough to get that puck through the goalie. Kevin, Kevin seems to uh, have a tendency to, to shoot at the goalie. I know the, uh, he had the 
the angle cut down pretty well, but I know Kevin's out there shaking his head. He's had plenty of chances, but they always seem to be uh, not much room to put the puck past that big goaltender for Watertown. Craner will take the faceoff, this time against Daldo. Right side. Watertown zone. Off the draw, the puck comes in behind the net. Around the boards it goes, off the stick of Mark James. About halfway out to King. His shot right on, the save made. And bouncing on top of it again is Matt Clemo. As Mickey Edwards was trying to sneak in there for the rebound. 4.36 left to play. Third period. Craner's line stays out there against the Daldo line. Off the face, puck back. Here's a shot by Sove. That was not too much too wide. Comes back and out to center ice. Sove back for it in his own end. Seth Sove with it now. Feeds it over to Peter Bentz. Bentz head man right on the stick of Craner. Jumped over it though. Back to the Messina blue line and into the zone. Jirushi back for it again. Jirushi in behind his own net. He stops. Trying to feed it out of the zone. Kept in there. Here's a shot right on. Kenny makes the save. The rebound. Poke check to the blue line. Good chance for Watertown, but Messina going back the other way. Here comes Edwards across on the off wing, trying to slide it through. He's taken out of the play from behind. No call, though. And the puck comes around the boards. Peter Bentz keeps it in nicely. Centers it right on. The save made. Now it's Sove who throws the check with 3.50 left to play in the third period. Watertown, Mara, high in the air, out to center ice. The bouncing puck. Bentz takes a whack at it, but it's up into the Messina bench and uh, some ducking people there. I don't think Billy Reed moved an inch over there. Well, you only, know. Only missed him by a foot, but he's slow hey. reaction time, huh? No nerves. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if it hit Billy, you'd have to get a new puck. 3.43 <laughs> left to play third period. Puck bouncing at the red line. Controlled by Messina. Into the zone it goes. Back out to center ice. Watertown the other way. Nice pass ahead for Lefec. Lefec. Trying to get by King, but the puck taken away by Johnson, helping out nicely. Johnson back the other way, left it, didn't get out of the zone. The fact we have a whistle and a high stick. High stick. King? No, I think it's going to be against Watertown. That hurts right there yeah. for the Cyclones. That happened behind the play as well. Lefex. So, Lefex? Yep. And that means Messina will go on, what, only the second trial power play of the day? They haven't had uh, been that many penalties anyway in this hockey game. With 324, the Raiders on a power play. The third penalty of the game. Okay. Watertown's third? Yep. Okay. Uh, off the faceoff. Puck controlled by Trainer. Back out to center ice. Picked up there by Morsha. Feeds into the Messina zone. And Messina's head man poked away by O'Donnell. Now the puck comes free. Trainer feeding it over to King. King headman right on the stick of Edwards. Goes ahead to Parker. Parker breaking in right wing side. Drop pass for Edwards. Edwards gets by a check. Trying to get in on the goalie. Takes it in behind the net. Moving it around now. He's right for Parker's shot. Oh, fired it wide. Now comes to Craner. Craner shovels it through. For Jirushi. Jirushi tied up. The puck comes in behind the net for Morsha. Back to the blue line. Craner. Trainer fakes the shot, goes by his man, slides it right in front uh, Parker, and it goes by his stick. He couldn't quite hold on to it. There's Parker trying to center it, intercepted by O'Donnell, and he dumps it down the ice. 2.32 left. Now Messina coming back the other way. Ha, a long pass, intercepted. Comes right back to the Messina blue line. Picked up there by Edwards. Edwards has it poked away. Craner feeding it ahead for Edwards again. Edwards dumps it back to King. Now back out to center ice, picked up by Watertown's Hershey. Hershey feeds it ahead. Now he's got it, dumps it in the Messina zone. It comes in behind the net. Here's Mickey Edwards with six seconds left in the power play. Not a very powerful Messina power play. Here comes Parker now, down the wing, taken out of the play. Jirushi follows up, quick shot, goes wide. And I'll tell you, Clemo just watched it go by like he knew exactly where it was going. No, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> 146, no problem. 146 left to play. Puck controlled by Jirushi. Shot, well, it was not really on, but Clemo decided to pounce on it anyway. Well, we have a final in the 
Potsdam OFA game. OFA hands Potsdam their first loss of the season. That in makes the things interesting now, doesn't it, Jerry? Yeah, it sure does. Ogdensburg over Potsdam, four to three. That helps Messina. Yes, it does. Messina can hold on for the next minute and 38. <laughs> That'll move them not quite a tie with Potsdam, but almost a tie. Yeah. Chris Messina with a with a tie on their record off the faceoff. Both teams the same number of losses. That is if Messina can hold on here. Adams with a puck. Now he loses it. Dumps into the Messina zone. Goes up into the ceiling. Huh. I haven't seen that in a long time. Hitting one of those beams up there. That's a long ways up there. And with 127 left, we'll face it off outside the Messina zone. That was Messina's second power play because they had that matching uh, uh, penalty in the, in the second period. Okay. So that was only the second time second Messina power play. seen the power play. Uh, they didn't really play that as a power no. play. Well, <laughs> second time they were a man up. Okay. That's all. Into Watertown. James feeds it out center ice. Watertown with a partial two-on-one break. Walt, as it poke checked away, comes back out to center ice. Trainers for Burke throws the check. Here's Sitton following it up. Sweeps it ahead. Balance as it poke checks back away to center ice. Now it's Foche. Foche waits, dumps it in with a minute left. The puck stopped by Clemo. He feeds it in the corner for O'Donnell. And again, he very, very nonchalant <laughs> about it. O'Donnell takes it out to center ice. Moves it down the sideline. It goes to goes into the official. And Balance picks it up, goes back the other way, one on three. Balance oh. is taken out of the play. Well, with boy. 40 seconds left. Well. <laughs> Mel says no, but Balance got railed that time. Chris Parker picks it up. He's hauled down, but Johnson has the puck. Johnson gets the puck back again. Has to wait for his wing to get on side. It goes to Duresi. Duresi slides it through. The puck picked up by Johnson across the blue line. Steps by a check to Black. And the save made by Clemo. And he holds on. 20 seconds left. Well, it looks like this one will go down in the books as a win for Messina, but what an easy. Well, Messina, you know, they put the pressure on all day, but uh, if it wasn't for their goaltender, I'm sure the score would have uh, reflected quite a bit of different score. Four to two. That's what we have now with Messina leading. And uh, 20 seconds left in the third period. I think we'll get out of this. Now the Watertown coach unhappy about something. <laughs> I don't know what he's. Eating. I thought he got away with a couple, uh, yeah, I couple of penalties so. there. Here comes the Cyclones trying to move it out of there. It's out to center ice. Duresi going after it for Messina. Duresi takes it in behind the net. He's taken out of the play. Gets back up again. That's Looks to move it around. Right One second. That's it. The hockey game ends, and Messina wins it on a score of four to two. And we'll wait and see what the uh, official saves are in this hockey game. As I know that uh, Clemo is going to have a lot of them. And as soon as they give the official, we'll give them to you and uh, check the rest of the statistics and get out of here in time to go to ABC News at 3 o'clock. Here we go. Kevin <laughs> Fourteen. 14 to 45. That's a reflection on. Shots on net were 49 to 16 in this hockey game. Boy, Unbelievable. Yeah. Third period yeah. score. Nicky Edwards, the uh, breather goal, I guess yeah. you could call it. Nice pass play. Kevin Craner, the assist at 546. That's all she wrote. Penalties in the third period for Messina. Sitton went off for holding at 658. Watertown came close to scoring on that power play, but Messina held on. Watertown goal, or Watertown penalty at 1148.